correct to say that in 1984-1985, the majority of Boston Athletic members were against the race going professional? Many of them were against it. They were not, not because of any malice, they were trying to protect Right. Unlike any other event of its size and scope, they're trying to protect the traditions of the marathon. So whatever uh, negative there was, it was on a protective basis, nothing more than that, nothing malicious. But it, it was a matter of convincing them that we could move forward, we could have sponsorship, we could have prize money, we could invite elite athletes back to Boston, and yet maintain all the traditions that were so important to the whole, whole community. So you were daily walking through a, a political and social minefield. I had my one foot in the past and one foot in the future, I, we thought. And it was the team I uh, assembled, right starting with Dave McGilvery, Gloria Ratty, Jack Fleming. We began to assemble a team to put together the tenets of change so that we're able to provide all the things we now provide, including the magnificent sponsorship of Adidas and Hancock, among others. Uh, to make this thing really worthy of its status as the oldest race of its kind.